Theatre performance is from a pussycat doll who's hoping to be purring by the end of the night. It's Meldy Thornton. <laughs> Catherine, as head judge, you have the casting vote. Which of them will stay? Melody. I'm just really emotional because I wish that my family was here to see it. <laughs> Melody is singing Mon Coeur Souvra Tavoir from Samson and Delilah. It's an aria where Delilah is trying to seduce Samson. When sung correctly, this aria makes me cry. Catherine did say that she cries when she hears the song, especially if it's done well. So I'm like, crap. <laughs> Being hard on myself is one of the things that I do really well. Sorry. Knowing she was feeling low, fellow pussycat doll Kimberly popped into training to give Melody some support. This is an extremely difficult challenge. I can't imagine putting myself out there, learning opera and being judged on it on TV. <laughs> I know Melody is missing home, but I know she's going to persevere and she's going to shine. She's the sneaky Delilah determined to get her claws into poor old Samson. It's Melody Thornton. <laughs> performance there? Yeah. Glad it's done. Yeah, I could have cried it. too, yeah. Good. It's a good old cry, baby. <laughs> <laughs> well, Andrew, do you have a good old cry? <laughs> well, I think um, uh, you showed something very tender and vulnerable in your interpretation. Um, it was quite different from your other interpretation. It's nice to see you performing like that. It's kind of like opening yourself. You've had a, a difficult a uh, week trying to figure out where to place the voice. The, the low notes, do I put it in the chest? Oh, do I put it, ooh? Did it sound right, did it sound? And you know, I think you, you did a good job. You made a, a decision, you went out, you performed uh, the idea the way you felt it, and uh, I think you, you were happy with what you did there, and I think that's the most important thing. Now, Vanessa, you're not easily moved. 
Did Melody do it for you? Well, I was moved because I really got the feeling that you enjoyed yourself. Just, I think there's so much to think about, as, you know, Rolanda has, has uh, said. But the thing is that the phrasing is so important. And every now and then I feel that the phrasing doesn't really flow. That's the only thing. You're sort of marking high notes and letting other notes go. But dramatically, I really enjoyed it. And, you know, here you are wrapping Samson around your little finger. And I felt so soothed. I didn't feel that you were being the manipulative Delilah that you're supposed to be, which is a good job done. So that was success. Success. Simon, I saw you nodding away there. Uh, I, I agree with the, absolutely what, what Vanessa says, but um, for me, the, the voluptuousness of this music, the way in which she wraps it round, as you said, wraps her voice round him, I think that you were a little cool for my taste. Mm -hmm. I think that she's a temptress, that's what she is. However brilliant she is as an actor, you know, Delilah herself, she's tempting him, awakening him, arousing him. I was... I didn't feel you went quite as far as you could go with that. Okay. Catherine, quickly, a word from you. Melody, I think that, you know, some of the arias tonight are full of gymnastics. You didn't need that. I think it showed that your voice has developed. It's stronger than in week one. And I thought it was, it was very emotional and very moving. I think you did a really good job. Thank you. <laughs> Thumbs up there from Catherine. Thank you, panel. Well, if you thought that was a perfect melody, then vote for Melody when lines open after tonight's final pop star has performed. Ladies and gentlemen, Melody Thornton. Yeah.